Welcome to Kettlebells and Coffee. I'm gonna demonstrate the drop step max good morning. So I'm going to clean the open sandbag, tight against your body, take a step back, come forward. You're welcome. I basically came here for two things to drink some coffee and to crush it. It looks like I'm almost out of coffee. Hashtag beast mode, hashtag crushing it, hashtag get her done, hashtag can't stop, won't stop. This all gets pretty ridiculous in the world of fitness. Everybody thinks that every day is about just annihilating it, crushing it. PRs every day, personal records, let's get after it, right? Let's just take our body and kick its butt. Let's just get it done, and that's gonna make me better, right? Because every day I'm just gonna go full out, all intense, all this stuff. No, no mas, no bueno. We gotta really feel the fact that PRs are good, okay? Going out and having an intense session is a good thing, but it's a once in a while thing. It's not an everyday thing. It's about getting better. It's about preparing yourself, preparing yourself for the outside world. Think about it this way. When you're really, really tired, how well do you move? Usually you run into a door, you might hit yourself on a shelf. You don't move very well because you're tired. Your brain has just had enough. This is what happens when you work out. When you keep having these days, these consecutive days of trying to crush it, not only does your body get tired, but most importantly, your brain gets tired. And it's not sending the messages it needs to. So when you go to the gym and all of a sudden your brain is just fatigued and it's just saying, go ahead, survive. You push yourself to the limits and usually end up getting hurt. I like you. I don't want you to get hurt. We're able to read the human being. We're able to coach them. So if they're coming in and they're just not 100% and their workout is a little bit kind of intense that day, we're gonna dial it down. Now does that mean we dial down the weights? Not necessarily. We have different ways to increase and decrease intensity. We have ways where how you're holding the implement and where your body is and the plane of motion you're moving in will dictate the intensity. So let's just say I have somebody on both knees and they're pressing overhead, that's kind of an intense pressing drill. I might take that same weight now and have them stand, both feet. Now they're more strong, they're more stable, and the weight doesn't seem as heavy as it did in both knees being down. So I'm just able to coach smarter. And that's why I'm always constantly asking people when they walk through the door, how you doing? And usually within that first second, how they answer, whether it is, I'm doing good, what I see in their eyes, how I can read their faces, tells me how this session's gonna be. Because your success in fitness, exercising, strength training, depends on consistency. Crushing it here at Fitness Line Down means that today we got better. We learned something. We were able to overcome some difficulty in our weight training and our strength training, and we got better because of it. And beast mode for us is the fact that I feel good that I want to come back the next day. I'm not gonna be overly sore. I'm not gonna be in the soreness where I'm so debilitated I can't even sit down to go to the bathroom, right? We wanna be able to have people come back and enjoy those sessions so that we can continue building on top of each session so every one of our clients becomes better. And that for us, that's getting after it. That's crushing it. That's hashtag beast mode. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.